Well, well. Okay, come inside, quick. I fear that they had caught you. Now are you gonna tell me what the fuck you were thinking? I used a sedative. She tried to enable her tracker. I had no choice. I offered her some tea. Are you mad? Wait! I was there, that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Why? My word means shit to you? Hanako-sama, I apologize on her behalf. Oh, shut up, Goro. We're supposed to be honest. Well, that's what I'm being. Fine. Maybe I am just a two-bit thief, but I'm the two-bit thief that stole that fucking relic off you. Slotted it in, took a bullet to the brain, died. You... died? Oh, yeah. Now I'm stuck with Johnny fucking Silverhand in there and I'll do anything to get him out. So I got exactly nothing to lose. But you got lots. Hanako-sama, we is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks if only you will help her with the relic. Hanako-sama.
Did you hear that? Go and check. Got a bad feeling about this. Last chance to get the fuck out of here! Takamura! Can't leave him back Forget there! Forget him, guy's toast! Unless you want to wind up like him. Keep low and I-360, they're in the hallway! You fucking dare float off! Not now! Come on, gotta get the fuck out of the city! Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. 
Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who sleep. Yep. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See, decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. Not keen on us ending up like Takamura. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't I touch that door. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that... blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this dump. So, you were saying, got a message? <sighs> Sitting right here. <sighs> It'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Hanako? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh, and you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body'd make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least. Got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we got. What now?
let us meet in person. At Ember's, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of suck elites barge in here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. What's up? Got a few more words about the... The porcelain cunt? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Get ready. <laughs> Fuck. Johnny! You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. It's not a pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> No talking your way out of this one. You wanted to pop the pill. Gonna pretend you didn't say that. Oh, fuck off. I know what you are. Hey, I saved your ass, got you out of harm's way. And you're still gonna doubt my intentions? Acid rain dulling your skin. Head on down to body care. Let's get out of here. I had doubts. Just when you were gonna drop them. Your conscience poked you in the gut. So Johnny Silverhand's got a conscience after all. Christ, can we just drop it? Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. <sighs> Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. 
ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I... do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? better idea not yet but i got a request well adam smasher fucker who got the better of me whatever happens to me i want him zero gone tossed into the wind as mulch seriously smasher he suddenly comes to mind last time we saw him didn't we... have a chance to say hello that's why we gotta find him finally end this Not your dying wish? Revenge? It's more than that. And I'll need you to take Rogue with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. That ain't true. Not sure Rogue's the sentimental type. Hmm. Bitter bitch these days, said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Elman said you'd do this. Make a power grab or pitch for control. Anders Hellman. And just what has he ever done to help you? May not help, but he doesn't hurt me. Not sure you've earned my trust. This needs to work both ways, V. You enjoy complete control over me at all times. <laughs> Don't even enjoy control over myself. You're the one who makes the bad calls. All I can do is advise. And ask for favors, like I'm doing now. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Fine. I'll do this for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. You can get your The Hotel Pista Sofia. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Just not today. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Squeeze the big strike! Give me a sec to reload! <laughs> Hold on! I'm reloading! Not the van we're looking for. Check Come out. Come on out, you slimy pissy! I'll give you a minute. Make a play! Oh.
the spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V. Hey, Got back off. Hey, your biz here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. June, fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really think you're fast enough with that blade? Really? The way I see it. Be a smoking hole in your chest before your neurons even light up. But hey, it's nothing like a little experiment, right? Hey, right, come on, Pedro. Not worth it. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. So what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. Or worse. This fucking town, these people? Just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh... Bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, Pete. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you then? Not the house. No, V. V, you never learn, do you? <laughs> Is it chat time? Uh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom. Nice talking to you. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you, V? Pay solid. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Red. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things. But with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Why do you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Well... But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... Hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. See Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman? Sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus.
I arrived on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that. <laughs> Got too close. Again. Something just drew me to her. Like one magnet to another. Oh, stop. The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? The dame disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Well, well, well. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's... it's not like that. I... I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know I... I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father, just that I... I don't look 
anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it... it, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife, went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least not in the way you think. Huh? What way then? She was out of rippers, getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes. It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband, ten fucking years. He's... not about the skin or whatever, it's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay, yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but the woman loves you, you gonk. You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway. Thanks. This is for you. Who are your troubles? Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See, that's more like it. Finally making some sense.
Is it chat time? Uh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom. Get the silver with. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough Maybe. time for a guy to get his head off. Right, come of course. to some. Why? What's up? I just to call to invite you to Joss's for dinner. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? It'd be great to see all you guys. Prime. Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I missed you. Please, Trevor. It hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, it's true, I guess. Anyway, you'll come by, right? I'll come by, River. See you then. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely... People don't change. Especially not people like Kirk. Kirk said I stood to gain some scratch. Easy enough in Night City. Real tricks surviving long enough to spend it. Just be careful. I'll give you a minute. Just be careful. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you! See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen. Job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V. Who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sounds too good to be true. <sighs> Fuck it. It's worth a shot at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. 